It, it worked. I, I'd have them on now, but I fell yesterday. Let me tell you something. Uh -oh. That would have been a f***ing YouTube, YouTube viral moment. <laughs> Good morning, guys. It is Thursday, almost Friday, so that's awesome news. Jaylena and I have hopefully, hopefully, hopefully got something cool in store for you guys today, if the rain lets us. Guys, I am so ready for this rain to go away and for summer to be here. We got stuff to do today and I don't want to get rained out again. Hopefully we can get some building done on the bathroom and bedroom because I'm really hoping this weekend we can show you guys the final tour of it. I don't know. I thought I would talk about something cool real quick before I <clears throat> actually get started. Last night we watched So The Land, their YouTube channel. They went live and we were really, really curious how it would be watching someone live and commenting and stuff since we've done it with you guys. So we did it with them, and man, it was an absolute blast. We absolutely loved it. They answered a few of our questions. I don't know if some of you guys maybe watched it, but maybe you heard the Crocker Homestead in there, which is cool. The guy, Jason, and his wife, they moved from California out to North Carolina, did their thing. But how cool is that that we got to do what you guys do with us in a live chat? So I think we're going to start doing them more often. That was the first time they ever did it, but we're going to do it more often. We're going to do it scheduled more, and I don't know. what. Tell us what days work best for you guys. Is it better on weekends, maybe during the day, or weekdays in the evening? I don't know. Jared works a full-time job. We, Jaylene and I, work a full-time job plus YouTube a lot. And what you guys know. And so please let us know what works best for you guys so we can set up certain days that will get most of you guys to be able to watch. And also, speaking of us doing full time jobs and stuff, are you guys interested to see what Jared does for a living? He works for a corporate job, which most of you guys probably know but don't know at the same time. So, would y'all be interested? And maybe seeing a day in the life of Jared and kind of see what he does. You guys get to watch us all the time, Jaylene and I, here at the house building and homesteading and all that stuff. What about Jared? Would you like to see what he does for a full-time job? If so, comment below, let him know, and I'm sure we could get Jared to do it, even though I don't think he really wants to. Let's make him show you guys what he does. So, we posted the other day about this stuff growing, and one of our subscribers told us that these little uh, fertilizer strip things were too close to the plants, and she told us to learn from her mistakes. Don't have them that close because it can burn your plant up. So, I don't remember your name. I am very sorry. But we're going to take your advice. I'm going to move them out of the way, put them in there the way hopefully it should be so we don't burn this up. If you guys have any advice on all this stuff, we really, truly like it. So thank you so much for that tip. We don't want this stuff to burn up and die. So we are going to take your word for it and move it out. And if you guys have any other tips, please, please, please in the comments below, tell us. Can y'all guys hear that thunder? It doesn't sound like I'm going to be able to uh, build a whole lot today, unfortunately. Hopefully it'll blow over. Alright, so I moved them away. They're a little bit farther. I put it there instead of over here. These were right in the middle. I moved them out, so hopefully that helps. Whenever I point like this, does my finger look weird? Jared always says my finger looks weird. Then I'm like, oh look, and my finger looks all bent. Guys... Are my fingers weird, or is Jared just making fun of me? Actually, Jaylena said it too. It's pretty mean. 
but when I point, does my finger look weird? So while it's raining outside, we are going to head to the post office, see if we got anything, probably not, but who knows. And we're also going to run to Walmart to pick up a few things, and we are picking up some stuff to do a cooking video. So that's exciting. It'll be our first ever real cooking video. I don't think our, our hummus video really counted, but... We're going to do... Ito versus Keto and see what's better. Stay tuned. All right. Um, we're gonna try to beat this. Guys, do any of you guys in the Dallas area work for like an automotive place or anything? My window is broken and it doesn't stay up, so I put like a chunk of wood in there holding it up. Uh, my motor's inside broke, and I need to get it fixed. But I have no clue how much it's going to cost, and I hate not being able to go through drive through So if any of you guys work in the Dallas area and you do this type of stuff, let us know. And we would love to come meet you guys and hopefully get this window fixed so I can go eat my Ito Diet Taco Bell and go through drive through So... Please let us know. I don't know about you guys, but I hate the rain. I want summertime here. Are uh, any of you guys from around here? Does this look familiar? We're in Quinlan, Texas. Guys, I feel like it's Christmas Eve, and I'm about to go in and see if Eve, and I gotta go see if Santa left us a present, but I feel like we've been bad and we don't have anything. So I'm gonna run in and see if we have anything. You have nail in the locker. <gasps> Guys. We have mail. Postal customer, you have mail in the locker number 90. Unlock and remove key. No. And, and I was Let's see what it is. <laughs> Alright guys. We just got our first piece of mail, which I'm blown away that... Technically, it's our second piece of mail, but the first one in the P.O. box. What? Because that girl sent Yeah, no, but this is our first one in the, in the post office. Okay. So, let's open it to Crocker Fam. Whew! This is from Carraza, Carraza, C-O-R-A-Z-A. Like Coraza? Cor Coraza? I don't know. N A O R O. Noraro? Coraza? Naro? Nero? Man, I'm butchering this. Let's open it real quick and see what in the world we got. I'm gonna guess. It's got some weight to it. I don't know. It might be shirts. Let's just see. <laughs> Casino. Play online at resortcasino.com. Get up to a thousand dollars free at resortcasino.com. So that's the first shirt. Dang, this thing is packed. I got some pants in here too, or something. Man.
Atlantic City hats. Atlantic City. Oh, Jaylena. Or is this for me, guys? I don't know. I'm assuming this is for me. Socks. Sweet. Women's socks. Are these for me, too? <laughs> I think these are for Jaylena. And then we'll open that next. We got some pants. Oh, they got Jason some pants. Are these for me, too? Or are they, some, are they girl pants? I'm pretty sure they're girl pants. Oh, sweet. I got me some pants. So, got some pants. I'm excited about that. Got another shirt here, I think. Just a plain I like that. That looks shirt. super comfy. It's soft. It's really soft. Feel I it. call it. It's mine. Okay. And then we got this little thing here. I call that too. No. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> All right, I think it's a letter. Money? What in the world? It's like, it is like Christmas. I claim that. <laughs> no, I already called it. So, it's a letter. I'm going to read it. I'm going to try to read it. I'm dyslexic. February 19th, 2019. Hello. You want me to read it? No, I can read it. Okay. You don't trust me here? Hello, Crocker family. As promised, my package to you all. I eyeballed sizes. Hope everything fits or fits someone else in the family. I had three plus shirts, but could only, oh, could only fit two. My apologies. I did not want to break the, oh, didn't want to break the $40 enclosed. I pray for much more success and thank you for sharing your lives and talent with us greetings to the wonderful parents sincerely i really wish i could say your name better i can't say your name very well i feel so bad caraza naro 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 caraza naro i don't know thank you so much and we're so sorry that we butchered your name it happens to me all the time all the time this literally blew my mind. I cannot believe we got something, and I can't believe it was all this stuff. So thank you so much from the bottom of our hearts. Uh, Jared is not going to know. I'm not going to text him or anything. So when he comes from home from work, I'm just going to have it set out, and he's going to be like, what in the world is this? So this is unreal. You guys, I am absolutely blown away. Blown I cannot away. believe this. We honestly really didn't expect anything to be in there. And it was just super, super exciting. This is the first time that we've gone to the post office to get anything, and there was actually something there. So to us, it's... Insane. Yeah, we are at loss. We are at a loss for words, it's people. It's almost as insane as how you pack that thing and got all of that in there. <laughs> yes, the it was packed, like, super tight. The fact that you got all that in there and you were bummed that you couldn't fit another shirt, <laughs> seriously, you did more than you ever had to do. Thank you so much. Thank you so, so much. We are super ecstatic about this. Jaylena was just saying we needed to do laundry. Now we don't. <laughs> don't tell them that. That's funny. <laughs> so we are leaving Walmart. We didn't find what we were looking for, but we found possibly an alternative solution. So hopefully that works for us. We are trying to figure out a way to upload our videos faster. Right now it takes like three hours. Even with our internet that we just got. So hopefully this will help, but we will see. We'll test it out tonight with this video. So we've been wanting to do this for a while. It looks like the rain stopped for a little bit. Hopefully all day, that'd be great. So we get some building done, do all that. But we are gonna introduce you to another one of our neighbors. He is a Vietnam veteran. I think he was in Vietnam and he has no filter whatsoever so if he cusses we're gonna bleep it out you never know what's gonna come out of the guy's mouth but he's a hard worker he's retired and he's got a little farm thing going on over here so we're gonna go check out his animals which we heard he just had some new babies so we're gonna see if uh what you guys think of him come on you. 
Come on. Look at here, this uh, these chickens, they're laying. They're laying. Mm. They're laying. Mm. You have to wait. This, this little rooster is a cocker bee to do or something. <laughs> See, these here's got four eggs back here. These kind of they s**t up there and Yes. That's some chickens. They can sleep and Yeah. Oh, got one on, on the nest. Got these over here. One in there and there's other eggs. A little bitty one. Yeah, that's that little. A couple of them in here. Make sure it's not the fake eggs. No, I don't have any fake eggs out here anymore. Yeah, we got some little baby chicks right now. And we got a little, keep them inside because it's cold. Yeah. Little rooster, kind of like that black and white spot yeah. on the That's, that's a very rare chicken. That chicken there, Henry sells them for $100 a piece. See those are the those yeah. are the uh, Jaylen. Those are these are the ones that lay the little eggs. Yeah, that's still a pretty big egg to be coming out of that thing. No, that's not that one. Uh oh, hers are over there in the bucket. That there's that little white chicken with the red black tail. Back on the tail. Uh -huh. Those are Japanese something. Yeah. And this here, here's Mama with the babies. Oh yeah. He tried to close this, but I don't have any left. All this mom rain is mama with the I know that, yeah. The one that you have, yeah. the real small one? Yeah, with white, with the red on the, uh -huh. I mean, black on the tip of the tail. Yeah. You can eat it. Cause this is chicken egg right here. Yeah, that's a chicken egg. Chicken egg and goose egg. That would not feel good coming out. Oh, there's a turkey eggs. Which one? The next biggest one. This? No, yeah, that one. Yeah, that's turkey this? egg. Yeah. No, it's no, that's like leg a, horn. I'll say it looks like a duck egg. It could be. Uh, can't see that for. Is there an egg in there with specks? Speckled? No. Look at this. this is, look how big this <laughs> is compared to that one. Yeah. That's what crazy. That? A little, a small chicken. That sounded like a broken. No. I don't I'd like to try a goose egg. Yeah, I'd, I'd try a goose egg. Take it with you. So we'll, we'll take it. You don't want any of these? Or do you want all those? Or some of them? No, I don't want any of them. I'll Round up the geese, the ducks. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, the ducks used to get out. Uh-huh. He'd see them, I said, I told him, run them ducks back. Uh -huh. I'd run them ducks back. <laughs> hey, those ducks, one the vendor, he'll go around and push them all in line. He's very big. Mm -hmm. Well, it worked. I, I'd have them on now, but I failed yesterday. Let me tell you something. Uh -oh. That would have been <laughs> YouTube, YouTube viral moment. <laughs> yeah. been, you and my brother could have made some money on that. <laughs> I was carrying the gate. Justin was in there, was here helping me. We run that coat in here between the two kids. I was carrying the gate. 
and I lost my balance and the gate fell on top of me and I was in the mud. <laughs> Stuck, buddy. <laughs> Stuck. Face down or what? No, I turned. Just, <laughs> yeah. I turned, you know. It was this whole friggin' side of me. And but I'll tell you I was stuck in the mud. There's the gloves that I had on. But, but anyways, I couldn't get up. I said, Justin, help me. <laughs> he got the gate off of me. I said, I still can't get up, I'm stuck in this <laughs> mud. So he gave me a he had a, a long rod that I have that I, and I stuck that in the in the mud and, and I pried myself up. I wouldn't even go in the house until I got my water hose, I turned it off. <laughs> <laughs> and to get it off I had well like I said, you know, my pants are inside my boots. Uh -huh. and I felt water going in my boots. I said, I don't give a shit. I'm yeah. dry. Yeah. I guess it could have been worse, huh? Oh yeah, I could have Justin couldn't have been here and I'd have yeah, been, stuck I'd have out been there. Stuck. Till it dried up, you'd be out there stuck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we just got back from our neighbor's house. Unfortunately, we couldn't film a whole lot. It was real windy outside. But. And it was freezing. As promised, you guys saw how much we had to bleep out what he said. It's funny. If you know the guy, he's got a good heart. But we just got back with all of these eggs that he had. This is a goose egg. Goose egg. We've never had it before, so today we are going to try it. All of these, well, not all of them. These are chicken eggs and duck eggs. Possibly, but more likely not turkey eggs. But we're really excited to try this uh, goose egg. Look at this. Crazy, guys. This is a small chicken egg, though. Like a really small one. So, we're going to... What are you gonna do? Scramble it? Scramble it. We're I'm gonna, gonna add some Taco Bell hot sauce. So we're cheese. gonna scramble it up and see if we could taste the difference. We know duck eggs taste a little different than chicken eggs. So this is a cool thing for us to figure out. And what is also cool is he will let us go down there anytime we want and get eggs. So we can always get more. And then we're thinking about buying an incubator and then getting some of the goose eggs, hatching those, turkey eggs, hatching those, some of his cool chickens hatching those so we're super excited so let's cook this up and see what we think all right guys moment of truth let's crack it open <clears throat> i'm so excited to see how big this is oh my <laughs> that thing is huge <clears throat> look at this Guys, this is a normal chicken egg. Watch your hand. Look at that. That thing is massive. That's like the size of like three or four eggs. Why? Why is there more yolk in that egg than in a normal chicken egg? If you guys know, comment below. So the smell smells just like a chicken egg. Yeah. No different. Duck eggs you could smell. Duck so eggs smell gamey. Yeah, smell gamey. That's a good way of describing it. So this smells normal so far, like a normal egg. So I am very curious as to uh, what it's gonna taste like. But it looks like any other egg you'd get. We'll eat duck eggs, but we prefer getting them to our neighbor so she could bake and we eat cakes instead. Yeah, and I made Jason a banana bread and it's been in the microwave for days. I forgot she made banana bread. So I gotta eat it all really, really quick. Okay, so Jaylena's gonna try it first, I guess. The only thing we added was salt and pepper. It's um, it has a more of a creamy consistency than normal eggs. It's good. I like it. All right, let's see. Goose. Yeah, it don't taste bad at all. It is a little uh, creamier, but I guess you can cook it longer. I like it creamy. Well, I know, but you can cook it longer if you didn't want it that way. 
But it's not bad. It tastes a little different than chicken egg, though. It does, but I like it. I think if I had to rate chicken eggs, duck eggs, and a goose egg, it would be chicken, goose, duck. Agreed. So that's what we think. If you guys have eaten goose eggs, which we were hoping to get some turkey eggs to try, which we'll try that next time we go down there. But if you guys have tried that stuff or any other kind of eggs that aren't normal chicken eggs, comment down below. Let us know what you think. Maybe some stuff that we need to try. I'm sure we don't have quail and he doesn't have quail anymore. So unfortunately we can't try quail eggs, but maybe we can buy some soon and try that. But we're gonna eat some more food. So we're gonna cook up some more of these eggs and then uh, see what else we can get into. Taco Bell, honey, I'm home. Dang, boy. That's all I'm talking about. What is this? Crocker fam? What a... Uh... Hold on. What do you think her name is? Because I butchered it earlier. Carraza Car 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 Nor no Nayoro. About as good as we got. How awesome is this? We got clothes in the mail. Thank you. So as you guys know, I love wearing hats. Here's the two that I feature in all of our videos. Uh, I got my first hat in the mail from one of you guys. I absolutely love it. Um, I look forward to possibly getting hats from all over the US or the world. So if you have one that you want me to sport in all of our videos, send it to the peel box that we have down below in the description. Because if I have to, I'll wear hats on hats on hats for our videos. So we didn't get to do our cooking video today, but you know how I, got, I, how, how I told you guys earlier, I want to get my window fixed because I need my Taco Bell Ito. And look what Jared brought us. Taco Bell, all right. And Jaylena got to eat Taco Bell, but let her explain why. I got a taco salad. Of course, I'm not gonna eat the taco part, just the I salad. I will, I'll eat it for you. But then I get a salad, keto, and Jason gets my taco shell. She gets a keto salad and I get Ito burrito. But before we go, I just wanted to say thank you guys for watching as always. Thank you for subscribing as always and everything. And please, hopefully, Jared, we filmed Let Me Tell You Something today. Oh Lord. You guys are gonna be in for a treat. And he did not, no, they already watched it at this point. This is in the video. Oh. So, do you think he disappointed them with bad words? Oh, I'm sure <laughs> if you have children in the room. I bleeped every bad word. Oh, well, you're gonna hear a lot of bleeping. So, Jared has no idea what we filmed there because uh, he just got home, but the reason why we don't There's censor him, problem. well, we censor him, but we don't completely, like, you know he's cussing, Man. is this guy is a Vietnam veteran, and he, he fought for all right to do whatever we wanted. The reason we get to do YouTube stuff is because people like that, veterans and people that serve our country. So if you guys have served our country or serve our country's country country right now thank you so much guys can we give everyone that serves the country a huge thank you thank you thank you we truly appreciate the sacrifice you guys do as far as going overseas here in the u.s and just being away from your family so thank you guys so much for that we're gonna call it a night i'm gonna finish this vlog put it up eat my taco bell and And on that note, we're going to leave.